Hi, thank you so much for being willing to invest in the lives of the young adults. I have full faith that you're going to do a great job and I bless you into those nights and really excited for what God's going to do. This is just a few notes on how specifically this term small groups will run in terms of times and structure. Um, we were really flexible with this because I really want you to be able to bring your own individuality and your own creativity and your own giftings to the night. So we really give the leaders a lot of freedom to play around with it, to try new things, to try different styles. So I want you to feel empowered to do that, to go and try different things and bring your own self and your own giftings into it. But in saying that, we do want to have some sort of consistent structure so people feel safe and have a form of consistency to fall back on, consistency to fall back on. Um, so there are a few guidelines that I ask you to follow, but please in that, just know that's just the base and we're releasing you to bring your own thoughts and your own ideas into it. Um, but so if you follow along in the document that I've sent through, the first thing that you need to do as the leader is two days before the event, I ask you to send an email to in the Facebook chat um, of preparing people for the night to come. In this email, you need to include a few things. One is just the topic of discussion, what you're going to talk about. Two, I ask you to send through a scripture that the people need to read in advance um, just to prepare their hearts. And third is a question um, that for them to ponder and them to start thinking about in preparation for the, the discussion in two days' time. Also in that email, just send a quick reminder of the take-home challenge from last week and say, looking forward to, hear, looking forward to hear, hearing how you're going from the take-home challenge last week. So that's sending the email two days beforehand. Then on the actual night, how it runs, like we said in the other email, we want to keep, we want to um, start on time. We want to be good and show integrity with our time. So small groups are scheduled to start from seven o'clock, and they go through to about eight thirty. We've we've advertised a nine p.m. finish, so that way discussion is meant to go from seven to eight thirty. From eight thirty to nine, you have an extra half an hour and half an hour to play with. That half an hour could be used for supper and just catching up, or if you feel like discussion's running over time a little bit, you can use um, that extra half an hour for discussion or an activity as well. But by nine o'clock, we want people to be walking out the door and finished. So seven to 8.30 discussion, 8.30 to nine, extra time for supper, for catching up, or just to finish early or for extra discussion if you need. So at seven o'clock from to 7.10, that's the time for people to arrive, to grab a cup of coffee, to grab a cup of tea, and to go and sit down. We want discussion to start by 7.10. If people are running late, just start anyway. Start at 10 past seven. If they're late, they can join in, um, because if we start on time, we can finish on time. We don't want to waste good time at the start by waiting for everybody to arrive and get settled in. So 7.10 is the time to start. To begin with, just um, if you want, you can say an opening prayer, but something we're going to do this term is the first thing to do is a really quick recap of what we talked about last week. This is so if people miss the week before, they don't feel like they're, they're not sure where everybody else is coming from. We just give a really quick recap so people know what we talked about last week. Just a 30 second reminder of what the topic was. Um, and then we also want to have a quick recap on last week's take home challenge. Um, so what I ask, what I encourage you to do is just before discussion starts, ask one person in the group to be ready to share either how they went with the take home challenge that week or something that really impacted them from last week's discussion. So starting off, just give a quick recap of what you talked about, then ask that pre-selected person to so say, Josh, can you, can you tell us how you went with that take home challenge last week? Or Josh, can you tell us something that really impacted you from last week's study? Ask them beforehand, don't just do a generic question because then you'll be left with awkward silence and you will have wasted five minutes trying to, trying to give a recap. So if you could start off by that way, just so we're always keeping in our mind fresh what we what we've talked about and how we're growing that would be great after that about 7 15 it's the time for your discussion um, to start now from 7 15 through to about 10 past 8 I've said that that's that's completely up to you how you fit in the discussion and how you fit in the video this week this term we're doing crash the chatterbox um, by Stephen Furtick. I'm really excited. This topic flows in really well from what we talked about on camp, particularly the topic of idols. Um, Stephen Furtick talks a lot about where is your source? Where is your source of security? Where is your source of identity? Who are you looking to? Are you looking to what God says or you are looking to the world and finding your identity and security in other things? So it really flows on well from our discussion on camp. 
The video is really good, however, it is longer than last term's video. It is too long to play. Um, each video goes for 15 to 20 minutes, which is, is too long for the discussion time that we have. But the way Stephen Furtick has set it up is that he asks a question, spends about five minutes answering that question, then asks another question. So each video covers three to four questions. I encourage you, watch the video, pick one or two questions that you want to show everybody during the night. You can do that at the start, in the middle, at the end. You can space it out however you like but throughout the night just show one or two questions from the video and then maybe you could show the video then have some discussion questions following on from that question then show another part of the video however you like but don't try to show the, the whole thing it's going to be too long then in terms of the discussion like I said be creative try different things please be mindful in discussions that we have a whole different um, array of personalities that there are people in the group who who like to just think on their feet and speak there are some people who like to have time to think about their answers write them down and then share that we have people who share better in big groups and people who share better at one-on-one -on -one or in just in in pairs or in groups of three so in your discussion please don't um, aim your whole discussion based on one personality type don't think what you would love to do and just do that for the whole thing please be mindful and try to include different types and different styles of questions that will help everybody feel included help everybody feel confident to to share some at some point during the night so please you know try different things ask a question for the whole group or ask give everyone a question time to write down an answer then turn to the person next to them and share their answer maybe split it put everyone in pairs, get every, give every pair a different scripture to think of, get them to answer questions, then each pair turns to another pair and exchanges answers. Or you just or, um, talk in a whole group. There are so many different things you can do. You can do a game, get people moving, do an activity, do something different. Try different things, and I really encourage you in that discussion, you have total freedom. Um, the study guide does include some excellent questions and I encourage you to look through them and, um, and draw upon them. You do not have to use them. You can use none of them or all of them. But I really encourage you to look at them and please and go through them because there are some really good questions in there that you could base your discussion off. But it is up to you how many questions you do or how few questions you do. Um, be mindful, to, as we said in our culture, keep it moving. Don't leave long awkward pauses. Don't leave times for awkward silences. If you feel like a question's had enough time, just move on. Feel be confident to keep it rolling and to keep it going always be ready to break take the, to take the discussion to the next the next level um, into the next into the next um, part of the time um, another thing that I do encourage you to do is please use scripture and um, we want to we, we sort of set the rule that each night at least one scripture is referred to during the discussion we want to do this just so we're careful that we'll always bring everything back to God's word we're never just spending weeks on weeks discussing concepts and thoughts we're always bringing that back to the truth of God's word so during your discussion just ensure that at least one scripture is drawn upon even if it's read out loud even if it's it, whatever it is just ensure that one one scripture or one Bible passage is used during that time so we're always coming back to God's Word the other thing um, to do within that discussion time is just the questions that you asked in that email that you sent two days beforehand um, you asked a question in that time um, we just want to bring that up in discussion at some point I, um, I don't want people feeling like they get a question they prepare an answer and then they come to the discussion and that's never even brought up so I want to give people a chance to share their thoughts on that question that you've asked so at some point during discussion, you can either bring it out as a big lengthy part of discussion, it could be at the start, you just say, that question that we asked in the email, can you please turn to the person next to you and share some of the thoughts that you had on that? Or just ask generally, who had some answers from that question? Um, you can use that, do it whenever you like during that time, but just at some point during the night, ensure that you have referred back to those questions that you asked them to prepare. So that's the discussion. The last thing that I ask you to do in that time is give a take-home challenge. We want to encourage growth. It's not a, it's not they come for a night, learn something, go home and forget it. It's something that we're growing and challenging ourselves to actually apply to our lives. Again, Steve Furtick has put some great take-home challenges in this and some really good ones that I encourage you maybe to print out and send home with people where they have to do some Bible study and start looking at scriptures and writing down things like there's one that says God says I am and it has a list of 20 scriptures that they have to refer to and write down what God says about them things like that are really good I encourage you to use them give people the option to take them home and do or just make up your own take-home challenge and say this week I want you to try to do this and next week we'll see how you've gone with that so that's from 
7, um, 7 15 through to about 10 past 8 that's your discussion and video time like I said you can use that as you like as long as all those points are in there somewhere you can structure that as you like the last part of the night from about 10 past 8 through to 8 30 that this is that time where we're going to give you two options one option is that we split into the smaller groups like we've been doing into the guys and girls that's been such a valuable time and in those times it's the time where people can open up and really share and be vulnerable vulnerable people can share struggles we can pray together people can just hear how you're going um, and in those moments as the leader I encourage you to, to be the first one to open up don't sit there and ask everybody else to open up if you're the leader that night just you be the first one to set the example be willing to be courageous and open up and share things share share real thoughts in those moments so that's one option from 8 10 to 8 30 to split into the smaller groups the other option is a new thing we're introducing this term which is following on from something we did at camp which went really well and that's a time of worship. Um, we People really enjoyed that time on camp so I thought why not try to implement that this term as well. That if you feel it is up to you um, which one, which way you feel to go but if you feel that maybe worship would be an appropriate finish then use that time for a time of worship. That might be putting on a CD and allowing people time just to sit by themselves and have self reflection and reflect in their own hearts to God or to journal themselves or it might be as a group getting some of the guys to play some play guitars and gajons and just just have some time of raw worship together and responding to God after the night and discussion you've had. So I'm going to leave that up to you as the leader. Decide what you would like to do. If you'd like to split into the small groups or if you'd like to have a time of worship, it's up to you. Um, you can try to do both, but I don't think you'll have time. Um, so please keep time in mind um, and don't overcommit what you're going to be able to do. The very last thing is supper. Um, so like we said, we've set 8.30 to 9, if time for supper, but if that's um, if you need that time for discussion, you can use it. As the leader, we're asking if the week that you're leading for you to please provide the supper, the church will, will reimburse you $5 um, to buy some supper, whether it's just some biscuits, some donuts, some milk for tea and coffee, whatever you'd like. Um, just buy whatever you need, give us the receipt, we'll, we will reimburse you $5, but we ask if you could be in charge of providing the supper for the night that you're leading. So from 8.30 to 9, supper time by 9 o'clock, um, we want everybody to be free to go home as the leader, start encouraging people to, to finish off and head off so they don't feel like it's, it's going on too late. But that is it for the structure. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to ask me. Thank you so much for being willing to invest in the lives of our young adults. Let me pray for you really quick. Lord, I just bless the leaders, Lord, as they go into this next step. Lord, I thank you, God, for what you've done last term, but God, our hearts are expectant for even greater things this term. God, I'm praying that this term is the best term yet of young adults, that our young adults connect to you more than ever. They connect to each other on such deeper levels, deeper levels, God, and they connect to their communities, God. I bless these leaders, God, in their preparation. Lord, bless them into their callings. Lord, you have anointed them for this task. And I pray that we see the harvest and the fruit this term in your name. Amen. Thank you guys so much. Really appreciate it.